and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For Meme Tier Monday, we're going to have four awesome Meme Tier decks. We had four sweet donation decks to be playing. First one here, we're going to be playing Heimer's Pursuit. We're going to be playing a deck built around Heimerdinger, the Pursuit of Perfection. I guess Heimerdinger's Pursuit of Perfection. And going to school at the new University of Piltover. So basically what we have is we have Pursuit of Perfection is a card that says if you've played 20 cards with different names this game, then you get to summon Catastrophe. Our 30-30 Overwhelm. So we need to be able to play uh, 20 different cards during the game. So Heimerdinger is going to help with that. Um, every every turret that you make, that's a that's a card with a different name. So that, that can help you towards your 20 whenever we're playing Heimerdinger and making turrets. Um, then we're also going to be playing the new landmark, the University of Piltover, that has the round start. You discard your hand and create three random cards. So that we can be just creating a whole bunch of random cards. Those are going to be cards with different names. So every turn we'll have like three different cards. And hopefully we can play a bunch of those and then have then find our Pursuit of Perfection later. Because obviously if we start with Pursuit of Perfection, we're just going to discard it. So that may not work. But um, So we just have the one university. All right, but anyway, we're going to be uh, combining that with Shadow Isles. Shadow Isles has a bunch of good control aspects, including we got Rekindler that can bring back Heimerdinger for us. But a bunch of good control aspects. And you can see that we have, a, like, most of our deck is just going to be filled with one ofs because we want to play one of 20 different cards <laughs> for our Catastrophe. So that's what we have. And plus, we, we also want cards that can generate new cards for us, like Warden's Prey. Whenever it dies, it will put in hand another Last Breath Follower, so that will be another card with a different name. Kenpunk Pickpocket can uh, Nexus Strike and create some cards for us. We have Clump of Wumps making a Mushroom Cloud. That's a card with a different name. Unspeakable Horror, that's a new good one that can create some Nightfall cards for us. Obviously, Flash of Brilliance, and Flash of Brilliance is just great with Hybridinger. But then also Back Alley Barkeep, that's going to be a part of our deck here too. we got three Back Alley Barkeeps that whenever we summon them, we'll be creating some new cards as well. All right, so that's our deck. So it should be a lot of fun. It's Meme Tier Monday. We're going to be just playing over in normal with our Meme Tier decks. We're going to be playing five games, and let's see if we can summon a Catastrophe. That's the goal. Hopefully we get to do it at least once. We'll be sad if we don't. And no, no atrocity to go along with the 30-30. I think if we can just get to the 30-30, we'll, we'll be very happy. Um, let's mulligan these two. We'll keep Heimerdinger and Mystic Shant. Okay. Got two Heimerdingers. The Chronicler of Ruin is in here to be a great combo with the Back Alley Barkeep. <clears throat> Alright, gotta get rid of that Herald of Dragons. We could simply play Doom Beast this turn. We don't we don't really need the Nightfall thing, but I'm gonna keep I'm just not gonna play it because having the spell mana is very good for Heimerdinger. Because I wanted to play back alley barkeep this turn anyway. So then we can just play that and get some spell mana. Jump bump's really good. Uh, we're gonna try this. Hopefully this works. <clears throat> Alright, plus one, plus one. Could play the Trumple Wump here, but I'll go with the the little one one um, as far as being able to play that, and then also have like Withering Whale or Unspeakable Horror. And they're just passing turn. So I'm expecting them to try to protect their Shivana. So Screeching Dragon's going to be a problem as far as challenging Heimerdinger is concerned. 
Right, like... Yeah, like, that's gonna be a problem. Like the other dragons, we can just kind of sit back and chump block. It makes it more difficult when they're able to challenge. So if I play the progress day, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so we will get the eight, eight, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we'll get an eight, eight. Or of course, this is a Heimerdinger, so I can wait and try to play a new Heimerdinger. Excuse you. Block like this, block like this. And then we can go like Static Shock and Vile Feast. So I'd rather block with this thing. Or let's see, Withering Whale. And Vile Feast. Four mana is Overwhelm, five mana is Quick Attack. So do still have Static Shock available. I expect them to, to play something. That maybe it's keeping their Screeching Dragon alive. I want them to do that first before I just Static Shock. Like, basically I could see them playing something like Concerted Strike, right? And like, if I just throw out all my spells, they can start to strike my Heimerdinger, I get, I get nothing. Um, as far as that's concerned. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. Whoa. That was... Oh, could they heal too? Okay, it's gonna heal too. Okay. So I was like, I was like, why didn't they just fight Heimerdinger? I still feel, feel like they should've just fought Heimerdinger and not given me all these turrets. Kind of foresee that outcome. Just what's you know? It's just like what's that one one doing? Besides nothing. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Okay, that could be a good draw. Basically, this turns this thing into being a 6-3 instead of a 5-3. Alright, we'll just glimpse beyond here. If they blocked both 1-1s, one you know, we'd have to choose which one to glimpse beyond, but they didn't block both, they only blocked one, so it's a very easy choice. And basically, I'm, I'm just kind of waiting before I play my other Heimerdinger. Because we have a pretty full board, especially if we play some of these other things. Oh, a Rillian Soul? That's uh, going to level up, so we definitely need to get excited. And we'll get excited the Screeching Dragon. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> because they can't use a Pale Cascade to save that, but they could use a Pale Cascade to... Say the 
White Flame Protector. All right, 5-3 Overwhelm or Back Alley Barkeep. We've already summoned one Back Alley Barkeep this game. We'll do another one. Refreshment from a crossroad terror. Cool. That's just a nice combo. They're like, all right, we're going to give you Insightful Investigator and we'll give you a two drop. It's like, oh, that's, that's just nice. Oh, yeah, it would not have been leveled up. That's right. They needed. Uh, that's true. They needed 25 power. And they would have had 22 power. Broom Nasty, that's your fault. This right here, this is your fault. Broom Nasty said, Oh, dragons need overwhelm enablers. So just gave them an overwhelm enabler. <laughs> that's your fault. Shouldn't have said anything. Uh, cause I want to play Insightful Investigator, but then they'll just challenge Insightful Investigator. So maybe I pass. Is there is there a chance they just don't attack if I pass? And then I just waste all my mana? Probably not. Do we need to play Insightful Investigator? Probably not also. Okay. They did attack. So blocking saves like one life, but then grows the thing. Um... I don't know. Might as well block. I need to just clear the board space anyway. Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. I got the goods. Oh, rekindler. Sorry. I don't know exactly how close we are to a catastrophe. Alternatively, I could go Blighted Caretaker. But then they get to do something. And there's some things that are probably super awesome with zero mana Celestials. You must be yeah, we're playing these four decks today. We're playing five games with each deck. So we're going to play five games here with Heimer's Pursuit. Then we're heading on over to Poro's Legacy after that. Alright, we got to find a way to do one Nexus damage. Assuming they don't have any fight cards. Or Nexus healing. It's going to be more difficult to do 6 damage. Hey Cody, welcome to the stream. Alright, so we got to do 9 damage. I'll make it easier. Not making it easier. So we're going to just get... Um, do they just have a destroy a landmark card? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that. Doesn't matter. Eminently logical. So we need to get like three Noxion Fervors. Nope, they obliterate a landmark. Oh yeah, now GG's? It wasn't GG's before. Alright, 
Alright, that Aurelian Soul card's pretty good. I was honestly feeling good about this game until Aurelian Soul. But, you know, then Aurelian Soul gets the Scourge. And all this other stuff. I will block here. No, block there. Whatever. Gotta get rid of those spell shields. Tom Kench Soul Rocker. Ooh, I like Ruination here. I'm gonna mulligan the others. I could see keeping the Vile Feast. I just don't want to keep Pursuit of Perfection in the opening hand. But they're, you know, they're a deck that just plays units and hope those units can just stay alive and everything, so Ruination seems perfect. I do play Bastion. I guess I should have kept Vile Feast because of Bastion. Yeah. Oh well, we got new new Vile Feast. Jury rig so good. I am here to help. Six health? That's so many health. Don't really need the nightfall. I'm still good to scrap. I would rather play the unspeakable horror to drain one because has one health, but I can't really let them go to attacks and have the Soraka heal. I can't play, you know, like my back alley barkeep and then do that afterwards. Ooh, Heimerdinger. That could be good later. Alright, so we're at 5 out of 20 for Pursuit Perfection. Yeah, just for Terra Cody. <laughs> Box to has top tier voice lines. It really does, and so many Bilgewater cards just have amazing voice lines. What a spring in your step and stars in your eyes. Okay. That could be cool. Could also be cool. You leave me no choice. Oh no, we took two damage. What will we all ever do? I will find the goodness in you, River King. Hope only provides temporary sustenance, child. I hope they don't have Bastion. I don't know if there's anything I need to do to, to try to play around Bastion. Yeah, it's four mana. I mean, it's it's going to stop my ruination, right? Like, that's the problem with Bastion, is it stops ruination. Yeah, I wasn't worried about Bastion for that turn. I'm worried about Bastion for this ruination. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you, too, Vin. I'll protect you. Where there's a will, there's a meal. By Starlight. Live with purpose. 
So our star spring's still at zero. No, it's not might as well block. <clears throat> because if I block and they have bash and they save any of their stuff and their their stuff's just damaged, then they get to start healing their damaged things. And I would rather take I'd rather take the damage than have the opportunity of that happening. How is your flock, little shepherd? They're stronger every day, just like me. Okay, so we're at seven. We got six mana here. And fire! Another progress day. This is this is just a weird matchup also where you where they disincentivize you from being proactive. Like it's it's honestly just not good to be proactive against these things. And cuz you just don't want you just don't want to damage. Like I just don't want to damage their allies at all. Oh, this thing is fearsome. I guess I, I could attack with the Apex turret too. Ah. To turn to. We're all family here. We're at twelve. That could be good. Be at peace. Yeah, I didn't have room. I had too many five mana cards, so I don't have sub Percival. Drink up. Ledros. The Star Child. I'll clear Ledros can end you. the game pretty quickly. Too, <clears throat> so I make a random six drop with Ethereal Remitter. I'm discarding Withering Whale, so that's one card to discard with Rummage. I guess I, I don't even want to do Nexus damage to them, actually. Then they just heal, and then that thing takes damage. That's just bad for me. Yes, yeah, so I'm not playing Ledros. Just 1.21 We're at 14. I got the kids. So that's 15. Might as well level you up. Atrocity. That's awesome to go along with our catastrophe. <laughs> That's a great one. Because we just want to one-shot kill them. This could work out really well. Okay. Um, but first... We have to get to 20, so we have to cast five more things. Didn't I discard you, Withering Whale? Did I discard something else? Oh, I discarded that five drop. I meant to discard Withering Whale. The only holiday with celebrating. They said it couldn't be done. Oh, I should have played this Aristocrat first and then covered up the Aristocrat. It's fine. It's not not really a big deal. Ooh, what's that noise? So 
that's 18. Um, uh, gotta kill another ally. Yeah, I guess I guess we have played a, a two cost. Yeah, Lunari Priestess. It's smaller than a diagram. Okay, we hadn't, so that's nineteen. Uh, I guess I like three two tough more than this thing. All right, that's 20. Next turn, Protection. Catastrophe Atrocity. Be at peace. You were misguided. All right, we got a block. Got to clear up a, a space. Pursuit of perfection. Thirty-thirty overwhelm. GGs. There we go, one and one. So that's kind of the problem with Soraka in a nutshell, is that if your opponent, like me, I wasn't helping damage any of their allies or helping them out at all, and so their cards didn't really do anything. Yes. Awesome, all right. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a win in the books for Catastrophe. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, we'll see if we get something cheap to destroy here. This could be a good University of Piltover game. Yeah, they, yeah we, we killed Tom Kench. They, yeah, they played Tom, but we had Ruination early, earlier before that. So these died to Static Shock. There's no way you're supposed to attack there. There's just no way that that should have been a play. I feel like I'm supposed to be static shocking this trapper and not, not or sorry, sorry the omen hawk. I feel like I'm supposed to static shock the omen hawk and not just kill the omen hawk with the sapling. I feel like that's a waste of a sapling. Probably is a waste of a sapling. Yeah, we're just playing it normal. Cause it's just just meme tier day. There you go. That's a good play. I'm through waiting. You're mine. Hmm. <laughs> We have Caretaker do the other two to this thing by killing the Spiderling. That was like the important part of keeping Spiderling alive. Um, 
I was thinking, okay, so if we, if we go Heimerdinger, then Mushroom Cloud, and make just like another little 1-1, one, one, then I won't have 7 mana for Vengeance. Is there a 7 mana thing? Is that Barrier? Yeah, that thing's kind of useless. Well, I mean, it's still a 7-1, I guess. We're probably playing Enraged Yeti. Alright, Hearthguard. That's worse for me. But I know that my Heimerdinger is not going to die right here. They've already used two challengers. They do have like culling strikes and all that kind of stuff. Culling strikes and reckonings. Now we've got the Barkeep Chronicler of Ruin combo. Ruination, huh? Ruination kills my Hyperdinger, Harvey. Yeah, Deep's a tricky matchup with Frostbite. I don't know. I feel like I get really good results with that deck, but you know, other people don't get nearly as good as results. I, don't, I think that's maybe just a deck I, I personally pilot very well, if, if that's a thing. So I'd like to play Back Alley Barkeep and Doom Beast. I won't have the ability to go Ruination if we need that next turn. Let's, let's go with the back alley barkeep. Let's see what we make. Ledros. Well, we're creating some high impact cards. Like Mushroom Cloud. A chill in the air. So close to leveling up. Eleven. I will unite the frail yard. Uh oh. So the, basically, I did that so we'd still have the ruination mana, but you know, I got another blocker out, but still have ruination mana. My aim is true. Sorry, Heimerdinger. I have to go. A card probably should have been Reckoning. Ice Veil Archer was like, I'll, I'll never let go. I guess we just go Ledros. We know they have the two mana Frostbite cards, so I guess they just Frostbite the Ledros. We could get back Heimerdinger with Rekindler, but I just don't have a spell to play with that immediately. We probably should have gone the two mana Frostbite card first. Because now they have to block. Yeah, they should have played the Crystal Arrow. And then they don't have to, then, you know, then they could have played Avaros and Hard card afterwards. I guess they don't have to block. I shouldn't tell them what they can and can't do. Or what they have to do. <laughs> You're not my mom. I don't have to block. You're not my dad. You're a cell phone. Alright, let's see. We're gonna have... Back Alley Barkeep start us off. This Misfortune Gangplank, I should keep Withering Whale. And let's look for some cheaper cards besides that. I guess we're playing against Burn. Uh, when's the Elise Fearsome? Um, either either tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I guess I could... No one's the wiser.
Do you have? Yeah. Plan on doing one of those two. There's plenty of killing left. Remember the objectives. Back to 18. Good thermogenic beam, the Jagged Butcher, but we don't have to. Ooh. Now I wish I would have. Yeah, I really wish I would have done that. I'm gonna pass. Keep up, keep up. Drink up. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I would have done that, because then, if I would have done that the last turn, then I just wouldn't be playing the back alley barkeep this turn, and I would just save my four spell mana. And then with the four spell mana... Um, you know, next turn I'd play Heimer, and then all these Flash of Brilliances and everything, and they would just have this Demolitionist attacking me. But now instead they just you know spray, play the spray fin afterwards and go grab noxion fervor, then set up that perfect noxion fervor. That did not work for me. <clears throat> so if they play gangplank. That probably means I'm going to die. But the good news would be they wouldn't be able to play. They wouldn't be able to kill Heimerdinger also. I think I prefer that. Save the three spell mana to go along with Heimerdinger. Let's do this. Brother's Bond. Good two mana decimate with upside. Gotta figure out a way to deal with the zap spray fin. And also find some Nexus healing, because they probably just have a bunch of burn. I have my orders. I could deal with the spray fin. Probably won't come as much of a surprise to anybody, but the the slow, janky Heimerdinger control with Pursuit of Perfection. Not good against the best aggro deck in the format. May come as a surprise. Maybe not. And fire! I don't think I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm not going to have time for Glimpse Beyond. We're not playing either of those two cards. Not enough hands. Just when I needed assistance. Oh, I don't know why I didn't challenge that. I don't know. Hextex Transmogulator could turn the, the spray fin into a... This is difficult because I need to I need to deal with both of these. I need to Vengeance the Gangplank and Transmogulator the, the spray fin. We can't do both. But I have to do both. Gotta be vengeance over here. Don't determine themselves. Yeah, I'm taking one one extra point of damage that I didn't need to take. I don't think that's really gonna change anything. I don't. Yeah, it's not gonna be changing anything. We weren't gonna be staying alive. All right, so slower burn deck.
The five... No, the five mana turret has quick attack, not life steal. None of these have life steal. Alright, well, I like vengeance against all these things. I guess I keep Heimer and vengeance. I'll keep the gotcha also. Pass turn. Don't need to play that return right away. It's not like we're like real aggressive and need to start attacking or anything like that. What does he want from me? A little one one. Wouldn't really want to block that one one with the urchin anyway. All right, battle feast isn't bad. Oh, they're in a dying deck. That card's annoying. That card's annoying. So we'll go barkeep, create something. Next turn, barkeep, create something. Maybe discard one of those things that we create. What a spring in your step and stars in your eyes. All right, back over to me. I guess I can attack for four as well. We don't have any permanent way to remove the Undying in PNC and Shadow Isles, is there? That's what I've been trying to think of. I don't feel like there is. <laughs> I don't think we're playing Encroaching Shadows. Even if, even if I play Glimpse Beyond, they still get... They'll still get their Nightfall card. They just don't need to do that. playing Heimerdinger is Heimerdinger is going to be our weakest um, yeah like it'll be our weakest thing so we can't really play Heimerdinger because it's going to die to the Noxcrya this is like a perfect setup for them against Heimerdinger specifically against my deck this is perfect we can go like block block and then these are both dead Now they don't get a fight. They could just play, you know, obviously they, they could just play any of these champions, and I can't... I can't play Heimerdinger and Vengeance. I can play Heimerdinger and Gotcha if they play something smaller. Just go University and Yellow. Oh, we could just go University and just discard everything. The problem, and I can't really pass priority because then they just go to the next turn.
This is just matched up so well for them. Man. Maybe I don't have anything better than University of Piltover. Yeah, I mean, this is... This is GG's. I can't, I can't, I can't actually stop this. They got me. They got me. That combo looked great against me. Um, yeah, that, that combo looked really great against me. Nox, Nox Cryo Arena just demolished me. Just, <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah, that, that card just demolished me. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. There's Heimer's Pursuit. We got to do some cool stuff. Got to get that 30-30 Catastrophe. Got to do it once. So definitely super excited about that. Um, and yeah, we got to play against some cool things. Our opponent doing that Nox Cry Arena with the Undying. That looked really good there. Um, but there we go. All right, Pursuit of Perfection was achieved. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.